So finding new content ideas takes too much time, but it doesn't have to. I have built marketing automations for years now, and this is the easiest and most useful one to build first. You will get fresh research content ideas in your mailbox every morning. And I will show you in three simple steps how to set it all up in make.com using just perplexity AI and Gmail. And the best part is that there is no coding involved. It will cost you only $3 in total, and you can build it once and use it forever. So let's get started. And to quickly show you, by the end of this video, you will have this simple automation, but it's really powerful. Perplexity AI module goes to the internet and finds interesting new sources and topic ideas and creates some LinkedIn post drafts and sends them to your Gmail. And it will look something like this. I will fix the formatting later. And this all cost us only a few cents, actually one cent per run. So now let's get back to the beginning and start setting it up from scratch. And so to build it, let's first go to make.com. This is where we build all of the automation. It's a really powerful tool and you can just uh, sign up for the free account. As you can see, you will get a thousand operations per month. This will be quite enough, especially for this automation. If you start building more automations, you might have to upgrade at one point, but for now it's not needed. So let's just create a new account if you don't have it. So this is a brand new account. And honestly, you don't have to set up anything here to get started. We just have to create a new scenario here and it's trying to onboard me in every way and you can go through it if you want to but for now I'm just showing you how to build the first automation step by step. So the first module here is always a trigger. Just click on this and we're going to use perplexity AI module. Here it is and let's pick the create a chat completion and now we have to create a connection. Once I click on it it says the connection name my perplexity connection you can change it if you want to don't have to and the key thing to have here is the API key and for this we have to open up another tab for Perplexity AI. And here you have to sign up for a new account as well if you don't have it already. And again, we are taking through some onboarding, but I'm just going to pick the free account and here I am. And now go here to the settings part and choose this API. And now we need to upload some credits in order to use this API. So set up the payment method. Okay, and now I have my credit card information added here, but I still don't have any credits. So I need to buy some credits and the minimum amount is $3, as you can see here. But this $3 actually is quite enough for months of usage, especially with this workflow, because it's so simple. So let's buy $3 worth of credits. Okay, now we have to wait until this pending $3 are going to be on my account in order to get access to the API keys here. So let's try to refresh and the refreshing worked and now I can generate a new API key and here it is. So just copy this, go back to make.com, paste it here and now we can save it. And now we have access to all of these other fields here. So the first one is the AI model that we're going to use. So the default sonar model has access to internet, will do the search for you. So this is already fine. And the next field is going to be messages. And this is where we add the prompts to AI. So let's add this first item. So the role we have to choose if we're doing a user prompt, a system prompt or system prompt. And for this automation, I want to use both system prompt and user prompt. Let's start with the system prompt here. And the content is actually going to be from my private community, AIMarketingMasters.com. I'm using this one system prompt a lot, which is making the AI outputs sound more like human. So I can just go here and copy this from the community. So check it out. Maybe you want to join, get more automation blueprints, prompts, and all the help you need. But let's go back here and I'm just going to paste it as a system prompt. Basically, it's uh, giving it instructions to use the first person, um, aim for a flesh score between 70 and 80. And there's also lots of like imperfections I wanted to add, so it sounds more human. And at the same time, I wanted to ban these overused AI words where if these are used, everybody can tell like this text was generated by AI. So I want to sound as human as possible with this. And once we have the system prompt in place, we're going to add another item item here and the role is now going to be a user and the user prompt I also have created before this again this one you can get from aimarketingmasters.com along with other resources so this is basically saying I want you to go to the internet find hot topics about my target group I want you to first figure out the pain points and motivations of this target group and then I want you to search the way for it for the latest news and find some really strong and maybe even controversial facts 
facts about it. And then I want AI to come up with an angle that is really interesting and create the LinkedIn post uh, draft as well. And I want it to format it like this. So today's content ideas, first idea, second idea with the sources, and then LinkedIn posts. And what's uh, really important here is that you switch this placeholder target group with your actual target group. So for this, I can just say B2B SaaS founders, for example, because these are the people who I'm working with with my marketing consulting. So once I scroll down here, there's an option to add maximum tokens. So usually you can just leave it empty and it will use the maximum limit the AI model has. Temperature means how creative the AI can be. So if you want it to be less creative, then you want to tone it down. I think since this is your first automation to build, let's leave those empty and it will not have any big effects. So let's just save this now. So the first module has been set up. So this is already great. Good job. And then the next module, we want to find Gmail. So it's here and let's find send an email. Okay. And now let's create a new connection here and let's use the sign in with Google. And now it's verifying my connection and it's done. So I'm assuming everybody has a Gmail account, so we don't have to go through that setup. And now next field, add a recipient and we're going to add our own email. And then the subject line, we can just put something that we recognize that this is from this bot. So maybe we can use an emoji. So let's say this one and let's say new daily topics. And then where it gets interesting and how all of these automations work is now in the content part, we want to add whatever is coming out of this perplexity model. So as you can see, there are like ID, model, object, creator choices, users, lots of like complicated things. The result or the output of AI is always, at least for perplexity AI, under choices. So just open this up and then next is the message. Open this up as well. And then the content is the right one. It's a bit complicated, but just go step by step, open all of these up and just click on the content. And this is already now correct. And we can just save it, but it's not done yet because we need to also save the whole automation. Actually, we have to name it as well. Maybe my first automation, save it again. And now what's really important is putting this on a schedule. So by default, it's showing that it's going to run every 50 minutes and also it's not turned on right now. So let's click on this. And then uh, we want to run this scenario every day and let's maybe do 9 a.m. Actually, it could be, let's make it 9.30. Okay, and then we can just save it. So this is where we saved it. And now we have to activate the scenario. I'm going to choose not yet, but basically here is how you do it. So daily, this will be active and that's it. And now the last thing is to test it. So we don't want to wait until 9.30 tomorrow. So I'm just going to manually run it once and you can see that it's running. It's finding all of the information and it's going to take a few minutes. Okay, and now it's done. So here, once it's done, it will show you the inputs and the outputs that went through this automation. It's not that important, but at least you know, this is where you can double check if something went through or not. So let's go to my inbox and new daily topics are here. So it could be formatted a bit better, but it is giving me new topic ideas for B2B SaaS founders. There are sources here that I can use. And I also have three LinkedIn posts here. So congratulations, you have built your first marketing automation using AI and make.com. And if you want to continue on this path, I recommend this next video about Ready scrapers. And this is also really easy to set up, but so powerful because it scrapes ready posts about the topics you're interested in and alerts you when something comes up. So you can go to Reddit and add your own thoughts there and maybe get some leads out of it. So check it out and also join me at aiamarketingmasters.com. Bye.